Welcome everybody, we are starting into our ESO housing hike. This is showcasing creative player houses in The Elder Scrolls Online. And I am J.R. Ellis, I will be your tour guide as we visit a bunch of homes right now on the PC NA server. This is something I stream live each week at twitch.tv slash J.R. Ellis. Or if you're watching on the YouTube VOD, if you could please subscribe, that helps a ton. We have seven homes to visit tonight. There's no particular theme. We'll get some housing decoration inspiration, see the cool things you can do with it. Lots of different things you can do with housing anymore. A lot of cool new furnishings that keep being added. Do I have my speed gear on? Actually, I don't this time. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I have a couple CP passives, but that's okay. Okay, we'll go and tour this. Okay, so Bees Knees has taken the Amaya Lake Lodge. And has color themed this to be a nature cave. So taking the courtyard here. I do feel pretty speedy still. And making it a magical, mystical, mysterious place. The music box is certainly helping add to the kind of mysterious feeling of this place. It's quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful. I love all the blues and the greens and the crystals. And it's like a jungle full of life. I love how we have the rippling effect going on the wall. That's from the Azureplasm cage. The really great effect. So this whole place has been totally transformed. So it's not just the courtyard and Vardenfell. It still has all these giant mushrooms and everything. That's pretty dang fun. And then that would go off to the house, but that's closed off. And then we have, ooh, a beautiful, beautiful focal point here is this tree with all the purple swirly stuff under it. That's fantastic. Hello, J Hart. Hey, Purple Jar L Wing, Dark Cow, <laughs> Jarger Wing. Purple Must Hero, thank you with the resub. I really appreciate that. Welcome to our housing hike. We have a mysterious purple tree here. Magical? It's like a confluence. All of the life, all the forest critters are drawn to it. It's kind of chilling here. That's a cool way of using this new. It's like from the crown crates. It's like a, the, a celestial. Convergence, twisty thingy. I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> you love cave builds. Oh yeah, I yes. Uh, Twitch has here, and they love this. They love this. It's desynced. Oh, that was quick. Twitch is having like major problems today. I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna turn my camera off and then be right back. While you look at this beautiful tree. Oh, what a beautiful tree it is. Oh, can you believe how beautiful this tree is without me on? I believe you can. Let me turn that back on and hope it comes back. Full of problems today. And we have a beautiful... Over this way. Little social nook. With a skooma. With some drinks. Beesney says, Thank you all. My favorite colors are blue, green, and purple. Oh, I could have not guessed. <laughs> no, so yeah, this is the theme here. Is Even with the pillows here, we got the blue, we got all the green vines. We got the purple. We got the purple with the glow bushes and all the good stuff. Beautiful tree. Yeah, technology is a friend. Yeah, technology not being reliable for me today. But if you're able to see this and enjoy it, then that's good. That's good, even with the problems. I will get some screenshots of these houses and put them on my website, spicyeconomics.com. That's always a good way to catch up on things very quickly, so don't get the full VOD experience, but at least you get some good ideas. Okay, business. I love, I love your redone cave here. Amazing attention to detail. It's like I'm here, and I love how you even have the character pathing. Makes everything a little bit more lively. You adore this. It's a great house. Great house. And a great use of these new Deadlands furnishings, too. They're, they're very this kind of dark color, and so it allows you to kind of build off of this cave look. Blend right in. 
Using some of these big luxury rocks as well. I see those. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continuing along. Hey, Beesney is gifting accepted Nordenheim. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Continuing along. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ethereal quality, that's right. Oh yeah, my hair does look good. <laughs> that's just something my, my, uh... I had to restart my Logitech capture thing. No wonder I was getting compliments. That's good. Trim things up. It's all good. Okay, Tulian. Up next. Hey, Tierna, 39 months. Moving on down the road. More wonderful homes to explore. Singing moo. Singing moo. Singing wonderful moo moo moo. Ha ha. Oh, we got we got that going on. Oh, I have a hype train me thingy going on. I kind of forgot about that. I should probably turn it off for the housing hike. I added that for off stream stuff. Um, do I leave it on? It's gonna be in the VOD. Um, it's gonna train whistle every once in a while. I will not worry about it for right now. But thank you, everybody. Um, we have Tulian. I say I don't want to rain on Tulian's parade here. Um, Tulian has. Something different. I'm super excited to show this off. This is Captain Margot's place. Margot's place. They have Tamriel Post. You can only put 200 items in, t uh, in this place. It's fine. So we have all these Hullaloo compact boxes. Oh, we got all these Enderal chesty things here. And it's like a post office with all of the little cubbies. Or this would be for the packages. And this is super cool. You can go write yourself a letter. You can go buy some really overpriced packing material. Or post office memorabilia. They really... The post office really likes the post office. <laughs> like, you, I used to be really big into stamp collecting. When I was really little. Because my mom made me. Um, and... Yeah, they would always sell, you know, that's that's how they'd get a big chunk of their money, is they'd sell the collectible stamps that people then would not use because they looked nice, right? Or they would sell little post office-y things related to the post office, which is a little strange. Um, it's like post office merch. <laughs> anyway, so I think about with some of these things. Um, I think these are mostly practical, though. You know, to t uh, tie up your packages and to write letters and all good stuff. I, well, no, I, I got into it, though. It was actually one of those things that helped me learn a lot more about the countries of the world, uh, which is actually kind of cool. And, and, and uh, lots of ways representing their cultures. Um in the way that they wanted them to be represented. So that was actually kind of always a cool thing. Um, so, yeah, I think stamp collecting is kind of an interesting thing. We'll just go look up pictures of the older ones. They eventually got to be where they're just like printed things. They always had the older stamps always look more beautiful because right? they had this kind of like woodcutty type of a grain going on with them more artistic instead of just like snapping a picture um yeah I, I like pre like 1960s stamps are pretty pretty cool things in the 1980s started to get weird <laughs> and money grubby grabby anyway what am i talking about um I love the post office. So this is behind. So we're going behind the counter and seeing all the things that they're shipping off. So they have their things organized. I love the way that um, we have these little piles of papers and everything. So we're sending scrolls, um, making good use of these cubbies where it's kind of like the, those are letters leaned up in there. And since the papers are a little too big, then it kind of looks like there's two of them leaning in there. That works. Agmarize, hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. What got weird? This, the postage stamps got weird in the 80s with their designs. They got too... I think it had to do... Maybe it had to do with the white backgrounds. Because they, they went from kind of like this kind of creamy, papery texture to having just like this stark white printed paper. And then... They weren't as beautiful past that. Is that a weird... Did anybody else, anybody else collect stamps? Uh, maybe I'm... Anyway... This is a little nostalgic for me. A little nostalgic. Um, oh so yeah, I appreciate that. Okay, we are looking at Tulian's place. What what? Oh, what is great about 
builds like this is that it's so well done that it reminds me about all these little different aspects about um, ab about the post office or stamp collecting or whatever. It's because everything is very precise in a way that it is recognizable and that says a lot about the skill that went into creating this. And so um, it's a roundabout way of complementing um, the design on this. I love the clutter with the books. So we have the books with the little leaflets sticking out. Those would be like letters that are being sorted. Um, and that's awesome, awesome. Maybe we're packaging up some statues or whatever. The bulk stuff. I also, I also did a lot with the post office because I would... I would live... I lived at the post office basically for a while. Um, I would buy and sell Pokemon cards back when, but back before it was cool. Uh, back before they were thousands of dollars each. They were like a dollar or two each, and I would go to the post office with my stacks <laughs> of things to mail out. Oh man, and so that was always a thing. Um, yeah, I'd go to the post office a lot, so I, I, I really appreciate this. It's maybe the subject for me more than other people. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of a lot of good memories at the post office. That's probably not the case. Um, I definitely got to see a lot of it though. And this definitely feels like the clutter that's behind the desk there. Wrapping up packages and everything. This is cool. This is cool. I like how they have their crow friend and everything. A lot of details. I'm, I'm getting a too nostalgic. I'm sorry. I'll keep things tight here. We have the stamp, so we can put the date on it, or official seals. We even have... Now, this could be one of two things. This could either be ink. That could be ink for that. That feels like about the right size, right? So this is the top of, like, a mug. Or it could be goop, so that you can put your finger in it, so you can turn pages. It could be that. It, it might be ink. But I do like the idea of using the, the little goblet there as a little stamp when, you know, they had to they had to pay their postage, and then I like how they have the crow friend, maybe special delivery, where you get the scroll hand delivered. Wing delivered by crow. A little special helper. That's super amazing attention to d detail. Okay. Wax stamp. Oh, it could be wax. Could be hot wax for like an official seal. Oh it could be. That, that it could be a seal. Oh yeah, it could be. It could very well be a wax seal where you you dip it in the wax and or you drip, drip the wax down and then you put the thing in it and let it sit for a while. But then I would think that there would be a little splotch of color under it. Whatever it is, it does look like a stamp. Yes, so Hogwarts airmail. Oh yeah, airmail. Okay. Anyway, I love I love how you can. With a couple of furnishings, and just based off of how you kind of contextualize them and position them, get a busy post office, and it's perfect. And it's not like these clockwork skeleton keys look like they would be a stamp or something, right? Until you change them up a little bit, until you sink it down into the countertop. So that's the versatility of the ESO housing editor. I'm loving this build. Anyway... It's like just made for me, <laughs> I feel. Oh man, I didn't, I left the door open. Oh well. Thomas says, many countries that develop self-adhesive stamps very late had sponges at the post office to wet the stamps. Could have been, I didn't see a sponge. That's true. That was always an option. Hmm, looking stamps or looking envelopes. Fortunately, I didn't have to do that too much. Where are we going? Oh, Airy Summer. Airy Summer has a build. Airy Summer is an amazing, amazing talent. Been to many of Airy's builds before. Went to a hot air balloon of theirs the other week. Hmm, that was fantastic. You can check that out on the previous Housing Hike VODs. Um, they said they had one cobble here in the courtyard, and it is... That's all they told me. <laughs> it's it's something. I'd say recognizable. What is it? It's, it's pretty obviously a train. So it's 
very obviously very well done. It's very beautiful. And done in Aries super opulent style. I think Eri really likes gilded things. I, I don't... I don't know what draws her to them. She just likes the shinies. One thing I like about what Eri does with these sorts of builds, though, is it's kind of like all the same. I've noticed this with other builds that she's done. She's done some really colorful, like, kaleidoscopy things and flower arrangement things, but lots of times she does this, where she just sticks to, like, one or two colors, and that way the focus isn't so much on that aspect of things, it's really about the textures of things, and so um, that really stands out here, which is that you have this totally ornate train, and then all the details that you're looking at are really going to be about the textures and how they line up well, so we have the, the cattle guard here, oh... That's so I get pushed off of the railway, which is a little sad, but at least it protects me. Um, that's okay. <laughs> we have, uh, we have the steam coming out the top. Oh, that's a great use of that Alnor thing. I do not go stand on train tracks, in case you're worried. I do not, I do not. And besides, the trains push me aside. Especially made, j -heart proof. No, um... like urns up above. We have a lovely little car for Fezes and Azabi there. More a house guard, that's right. <laughs> Her builds are detailed and intricate. That is definitely true. And like these little details, like just adding like a little stylus here so you can imagine, you know, you clinking down the uh handle there so you can open the door and just these amazing little details I think it's night right now which is probably good because you get this bloom going on so it makes it look a little bit more magical um okay looking at the car back there amazing amazing some of these platings are from the reach home goods vendor some of them are from the brass fortress home good vendor so that um, is what allows you to kind of get started with the framework of this, and then a lot of additional details being added. I love the wheels. There are a couple, a couple different home good vendors have the, those wheels, and then kind of in the background, there's the clockwork finishings, kind of to fill in the metallic look of it. Like even the details here, like the connectors. That's cool. Some of these might be from the Reach Achievement Vendor. I see at least a couple of these other furnishings are. I like these crystal power source furnishings. Oh, I love, I love it, love it. Just kind of Trying to give you some time to look at it and admire it, because I certainly am. And... Oh, that's what that is. I was trying to think of what the other detail up there is. The other detail up there, the silver one, is would be a bell. So it would be like the train bell. Very cool, very cool. And then I saw that the cat was here too. I'll go look at this. Very fancy. Right, is that the is that the conductor then? I guess it must be. <laughs> Needs a blue and white hat like they always had in the cartoons. The conductor. Yes, I think so. <laughs> so, it's a train for Elfik. Or even the way they have the tracks done. How do they do the tracks? They are... I don't know. I actually... Um... Is it more of these? These are like... Hallelujah hangers or something. Dark elf hangers? Common post sign holders. Oh, never mind. Totally wrong. And these are more common post sign holders. So that's that for the sheen, but just kind of on its side. 
Okay, well that's super clever. How do they do the smaller ones then? Anyway, making good use of some green quality items. Who knew? Whose build is this? This is Airy Summer. Airy Summer? Amazing streamer if you haven't gone and followed Airy Summer. Often streams long times and also builds on stream a lot. So can often find her live at twitch.tv slash Airy Summer. A-I-R-I-E Summer. Okay, I got that. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. I'll just keep admiring this for forever, I guess, and then we'll keep moving along. Okay, next up. Good deal. Good deal. From Thendryan. A little bit of a backstory on this one, and it'll kind of tie in with the next house I do, too. Um, as I say... Okay, let's get in here. That's supposed to be off. Mm, maybe for the sake of the music box playing it is. Now I'll play a different n different melody. Okay, they say, Once a temple devoted to the legendary Kunzari, these hallowed halls now house an Altmer mage, a practitioner of the dark arts, who washed onto the sandy shores of elsewhere and fought valiantly to defeat Euraxia. The cozy renovations inspired by their travels through Tamriel and nostalgia for the Somerset Isles enshroud their true calling. Okay, a mage, practitioner of the dark arts. Let's go explore this. Now, I'll note this is that they said that a lot of the elements um, may seem similar because they were inspired by my housing hikes, which is really cool. And that will also be the case for uh, the next build that I see, where the two of them bounce back and forth a lot of ideas and helped each other fill in their halt with Lunar Champion. So we'll be able to kind of compare those and um, see what they've done. So I'm super excited to see... Um, what then Ryan has been able to do with the Hall of Lunar Champion here, and yeah, one of these big houses that you can get from doing the main storyline in Elsewhere, and we will kind of work our way around. I think they said first person mode would be a little bit better. Oh, we have a cow. Good. <laughs> might, might be bullhorn zing in its general direction. There we go. <laughs> Good. I love it. Get extra points for this in the contest. Um, I visited 170 houses in a row for the big one more pool contest. I was also in a cat onesie. That was fun. Just in case you missed that. I didn't actually VOD that. It was a little too long to do that. But anyway, <laughs> that was great. That was great. Um, random aside. I love the custom light here. You know, using just a couple of furnishings. So you have like a a good lantern on top of that. You have a, a post for it and gets the light where it needs to be, which is up a little bit. And that's great. And I love the shadows that it casts. Um, also, there are some of those dwarven lights from Markarth. Awesome, awesome. It does have a crown. Oh my gosh, is that an incense? Oh, you put a little crown on it. Oh, it's, a, it's totally me. It's gotta be me. I don't actually wear a crown, but that's okay. I... I do mentally. <laughs> that's really stupid cute. Oh, that's adorable. It has a little golden crown. I'm all about that. All about the bling. Comfy looking room. Anyway, yeah, it, it, it is a comfy looking room. Not to take it aside from anything else. Um, yeah, with the big hearth and you know with the the fire tools there certainly helps it. And just a nice balance to everything. I love how the light from the fire kind of reflects off of the gilded look from the Leowin cabinet there and all that. And I love the curtains here. Kind of breaks this room up a bit. And then just have a nice cozy bed, curl up, and read a book. Change your outfit. Change your armory station setup. It's a cute crown. It is. It's, it's really cute. Very subtle. And then over on the other side, we have... Oh, more fireplace. I'm a big sucker. Oh, for cows. No, for fireplaces. Um, <laughs> they, they know how to make me look at things longer. This is good. Uh, no, this is great. Great, great, great. Look at all that. 
the nice, again, the gilding from the polished, well, it's not really gilded, it's polished brass edge work on these Markarth reach furnishings, which look fantastic. And I like how you've overlapped a lot of them and got a good box going on for this square brazier. It's more balanced that way. Lots of time I've seen people use these the ornate square braziers before, but kind of more the elongated ones. I like really like how you brought it in a little bit better. It makes it feel like it was custom designed just for this. Looks fantastic because it basically was beautiful, beautiful. That's a relaxing spot. I like how the colors tie through here with the blues and the golds, that even goes to the tough bit. So it's actually kind of an odd thing because it's across lots of different styles, but using that same color. So we have Breton, we have Khajiit things here, we have Redguard things there, and then we have the Eleanor marbles as well. So it's all blue, blue and gold. And then we have Reach stuff too. So, you know, it's a lot of different styles. Don't be afraid to mix and match styles together. It's more about the colors and the textures and you don't have to read into everything super literally all the time. Maybe we'll actually get some nice Breton things with the uh, next update. New stuff of what we've seen so far with the teasers. Well-traveled. Sucker for blue and gold. Yeah, blue and gold are a good color match. I do the green and gold, which is a little it's a little different. It's a little flashier. Blue and gold is much more... Noble? I like the nobility of it. Yeah, I was kind of liking the colors. <laughs> okay, and then we have... More up above. Oh, we got a little smoke room with Serene here. Doing all sorts. We, we're imbibing on skooma and moon sugar and sugar pipe and gambling a little bit and hanging out with Serene the Alfique oh, and Aerox. Nice and smoky up here, so you can use, you know, it's like this steam or fog effect. Makes it look all smoky. <laughs> okay. All good, all good. Okay, more rooms here. I'm excited to compare this with the next home, too. And then we have a very, very... Word. Kitchen. <laughs> what, 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 what word is best to describe this? It really draws me in. It has so much color. It has this really fresh feel to it. Um... And a very active feel to it. I really like how we have the silverware here. Um, you did a sneaky thing, Andrian. You you took the lobster, and you put the little hullaloo towels underneath the silverware, so we actually have a napkin under it. That's a clever little detail. I really like it. It doesn't normally have it, and it feels like... You know, this has just been freshly served and it's ready to eat. You got your utensils ready to go and they haven't been touched yet, so dive right in. Refrigerators are awesome. Yeah, I love the fresh refrigerators back there. They're custom made. Um, anyway, I love I love these little details going on. Or like putting the lobster on the cutting board. Poor thing. I feel like... It's some sort of a kitchen travesty. So, so, uh, all the Food Network stars would have, like, meltdowns if they saw whatever's going on with this lobster. Um, I don't know why I get hung up on that. I used to watch a lot of cooking shows. Like, a lot of cooking shows. I cook a little bit. Not, not enough. You love ESO kitchens? I'm a, I'm a sucker for kitchens in ESO because it's one of those things where they, they don't give you a sink, or they don't give you a stove, or they don't give you a refrigerator, and so if you... It's like everybody's first experience with cobbling or making these custom designs is with these elements in your kitchen, often, often for, for people getting into it. So kitchens are a great place to get started with starting to make some custom elements and really 
starting to flex the versatility of the housing editor. Hen with a follow. Thank you, thank you. Needs garlic butter. Gordon Ramsay would be... Yeah, Gordon Ramsay would be so mad at your fridge. Fish hanging over veggies. <laughs> yes. It's just dripping down there. Uh, no. I, I... You... You went with a lot of good colors with the produce. Does make it feel very fresh. I like how you layered in the bookcases in there, too. So you have the different shelving units. It's a little fancier, too. And then the nice metal outlining that. Very custom built. Little we'll spools. Spools make good handles. Love watching cooking shows. I just hate cooking real life because, well, mess dishes clean up. But yeah, that's not my cooking. I don't like. Uh, everybody says that. I don't like. I don't like cleaning up. Uh, it's true. <laughs> it's, it's a lot to go from. Well, at least you don't have to. At least don't grow stuff. But it's like shopping to dealing with it to produce like cutting everything up, to cooking everything, and serving everything, and making sure it's all the right temperature, and then cleaning up afterwards, and doing the dishes and everything. So it's like a little bit of a bit of a process. That's why I don't cook as much as I would maybe like to. Um, anyway, uh, I'll, I'd like to cook more in the future. I love, I love wine. You're kind of fridge. Anyway, Keep moving along. We're really enjoying these. One thing at a time. Ooh, a lot of color up on the wall. I definitely see where you've, you've, you have taken a couple clues from previous tours that we've done. That's what I love to see people do, is really build off of um, each other, right? Because housing has come a long way, and you can do so much with it. That is a really big soap. Or a Lufa? Something. Lovely, lovely ba bath area here. I love how bright it is. It's very, it's very bright. Going with that green and gold color scheme in this room. I like that. I do like that. I don't actually have any green emotes except for that one. <laughs> That's okay. What a delightful tub. Goes with the book. Oh, what, what book is it? Yeah, I didn't look at the book. What book are we re reading while we loof it up? Lusty Argonian Maid? That's always a good bath read. I'll pretend I don't know what Lusty Argonian Maid is about. Flattered with Apollo. Thank you, thank you. More Alfique. Yeah, it's super cute. Yeah, a lot of Khajiit elements throughout this place. What is the green texture on the bathing room walls? Uh, it's the Hullaloo carpets, um, I believe. The moss carpets? Maybe I can identify that. A uh, garden moss Hullaloo carpet. Yeah, that's kind of an odd, odd furnishing. They're not very expensive to craft, if you can find them. The plan might be expensive, though. Okay, more rooms, more Alfique. Oh, I, you really went all in on the Khajiit theme. I love it. I love it. Ooh, I like your use of these. Are these from Leowin? Leowin carpet, small worn. Yes, they are. Um, making a good grid pattern with those. Huh. Squares tessellate. Imagine that. <laughs> that looks great. I you align those up very very well. Yeah, going with a different kind of like a wallpaper texture is fun. Um, creative, unique. Even adding that to the little reading nook over this way. Awesome. Very warm. Yeah, so this the kind of interesting thing about this is we had the blue room, we had more of a green room, this is more of a red room, and each one definitely has its own personality to it. Whatever you are going for, kind of build around what you like. 
But I like all the rooms, and a lot of color throughout this place. This is a very warm feel to it. It's very inviting. We have the rocking chairs, we have the tea, we have a lot of books, so it's kind of a nice comfort to this place. Such good wall couples in this build. It's, it's great. And then on to Moongrayfane. We'll go see. It's a trap. Is that, you think so? Ooh, going up. Up, 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 up. Using some of these Deadlands furnishings to just use a couple furnishings to get where we need to go. Oh, and well, then we have a lovely, kind of like a rooftop terrace garden. Beautiful lighting. I think I got kind of lucky with the time of day on this one because of those lanterns. This is different. I missed a room? I missed a room down below? Oh, how did I miss a room? I, I said three rooms. I think there were four. <laughs> uh, I will go back. Um, I had mentioned this before, which is that the Moongrave vein of the Hall of Luna Champion has an amazing view of the waterfall that you don't see unless if you build up on top of the gate, because there's like a gate in the way that you can't really see through very well. Um, so this way, it really opens up and you get the beautiful view and you can just go and have your sugar pipe and enjoy things here. Yeah, beautiful scenery. Going straight up, yeah, just go straight up. And then you get this and I love the garden using a lot of these lilies. Roy really lightens it up as well. Very, very soft pink hue to all of this. Okay, I love it, and I love that you've built up. And then I apparently missed a room down below. Got the idea from one of the houses on the stream. Oh, great, 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 great. Then I did miss a, I totally miss a room. So I went to three? All right, what room did I miss? Did I miss a room? Selowen said I missed a room. What room did I miss? Unless if you go through the carpet. Follow, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I did have a hint. I, I totally, I didn't know what to read into this. They said, Enshroud their true calling, and I had a hint, which was to follow Sithis' gaze. Wait, where was Sithis? I don't remember seeing Sithis. Sithis? Oh? Are they not gonna... Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking for a little statuette of Sithis. Go to the bedroom. In the bedroom? Okay, a little hint. Oh, oh, I see, I see. We got the sneaky thing here. I, they did a clever thing. These carpets don't have collision. I'm guessing I can go right through here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh no, oh no, Solowen. Oh no, oh no, what is this? Our true purpose here. Good thing I didn't move on to the next house. Oh no, oh no. Uh, well, do you need, do you need help then, Ryan? As, like... Are you good? You got this handled? I mean, she's still moving quite a bit. Do you need me to help? I think you have it handled, right? I'll just keep looking. Um, oh, there's a Jester's Coffer there too. I have to go, oh, this is cool. This is cool. have the poisons and everything. She's, she's fine, I'm sure. I have this Jester's Coffer. What a happy thing to see here. Yeah, there's, there can be fun things in there. I can tell there's something magical in here. Just for me? Just for me? Something just for me? Let's see. Oh, it's a... It's a... Severed Guar Head. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, why is it so... Adorable. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, then Tryon, and thank you, Selwyn. It had to be done for the ritual, I suppose. Oh gosh, I always say you can put little things in those desktop coffers. It's a, it's amazing, and you can get a little creative with them sometimes. So those little Ashlander knives are perfect. They're perfect. And Tryon, you did something creative. I haven't seen that before. Uh, very legit way. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> Knife. Uh, it's fine. Sweet mother, sweet mother. Oh, what a cool surprise back here. I guess I was a little, I was a little wondering about why that was not facing into the room. That that's a good, good little tell there. Okay, cool. I think I'm I think I'm good now. We can move on to the next house. Top notch lighting in this build. That's true. Okay, next up. So Selwyn and Thendryan had bounced ideas off each other a bit while decorating their hall halls of the Lunar Champion. Hall of the Lunar Champions. Probably halls. We'll go to Selowen's and we'll see a lot of similar things, but done differently. So this is kind of cool. We'll kind of be able to compare these. Again, yeah, kind of bouncing ideas off each other and, you know, taking some cues from previous hikes and things. So they say, Welcome to the Champion's Hideaway, home to Selowen and her fearless companions, disciples of the Golden Cow. <laughs> the spiciest of Daedric Princes. Come in and rest while we plan our next adventure. I am apparently a Daedric Prince now. I hope. I hope the Golden Cow is me. Spicy golden cow. I hope so. I hope so. Okay, we'll go see. We'll go see. Remember, Selwyn said that they were. Maybe this was them. I think they said that they saw like an aquarium in the housing, in ESO, and that's what really drew them into, to it originally. And so they have built an amazing aquarium of their own here too. I love the curved walls here. It gives it a totally different look. Um, just imagine glass wrapped around that. Wonderful. Yes, with the lighting and the vibrancy and all the little fishies. This is always like a good little trick here with aquariums is that you want to have a couple of things at least that have some motion to them. So we have like the anemones and the swamp jellies and a couple of the kelpy things in the background there or the crab. And so as those move, anything else that's static there also kind of feels like it's relatively moving a little bit, so um, makes it not just look like a like a painting, makes it look like it's a more active scene. So um, there's a lot of depth to it, and a lot of all the corals there down below from Somerset, and looks beautiful. We even have Nocturnal there, kind of embedded in the middle. Beautiful, beautiful. Where to go? I see that they're worshipping the golden cow there. I will make my way there, but I have a kitchen first. Okay, we have a, a kitchen. We have a oh, with a book. Up there with the moon sugar. Tasty. Looks like it actually might be legit. Flavorance here. All the little buttons and everything. Oh I love I love how you've layered things in here in a creative way. Like I haven't seen this. It looks different. Like it's a special dish. What is what did you use for that? <laughs> I, I might not be able to poke at it. There's this feature with essential housing tools. It's an identify feature. It allows you to point at something and tr it will tell you what it is. But sometimes it doesn't. Things are get in the way. <laughs> anyway, I want to know what they did for these two finishings. Uh, it's a couple. Maybe just something sent down. I know that there's a lot of solitude dishware. That might be what this bowl is. And then they put something else there. Meal is a cobble. Soup with a tool for a handle. Okay, so it's, yeah, it does have a tool handle there. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I like that quite a lot, actually. Or I wouldn't be talking about it still. Soup bowl with a solitude pan. Yeah, some, something like that. And there'd be a lot of other creative, similar things that you could do with different tools or with different bowls or different food items and put your own twist on it, right?
Ooh, lovely cutting board here. All of the dishes down below is cool, so it's ready for lots of different things for whatever whatever the meal calls for. Love the spitting dragon. Sea serpent. Yeah, if you have like an Eleanor fountain or something like that, you just position it in the wall, then you can have whatever you want spitting water out. So the sea serpent is a good pick, a really good pick. And we have, aha, a similar refrigerator. Again, very full of color, very fresh. Not as many drinks, but they have a few. A lot of fish again. And... They have drinks out here, though. And then we'll go out here. Everybody's worshipping the golden cow. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Oh, I love it. Oh. Um... Try to get a picture of you while you're kowtowing here. I'll get a couple pictures. Oh, you're adorable. You're amazing people. Amazing people. Okay, so we have the golden cow with the Erie Velvet Bendiguar. The cheese. Something special in the Jester's Coffer? Could be anything. I hope it's not another guar head. Let's find out. <laughs> it might be another guar head. It might be. Let's find out. Oh, it's. <laughs> Sothasil presents to you cheese. <laughs> oh, that's too great. I love how the lighting is on this with like the lantern right next to it. So the cheese really stands out. Oh, that's. They did a great job doing these little tiny things in those coffers. Little creative touches. Just a couple things. Aguar? Aguar? Yes. Um, did you win that recently? Yes, yeah, a stream team partner code. You must have got that recently. That's adorable. Great use of the Clyda statue. Actually, I like how you use, like, the... the Pelinal Mace there. Just skewer that cheese and everything. This is important. I need to get my Bastion out. Not using the rarest and best statue as a body. I know! The Kaleida statue. I mean, it's it's an amazing, amazing creation. Incre incredible solo. And thank you, Ventrian and solo. And, and there's more to see, though. There's more to see. We have the diminutive maple in the brazier there. That's cool. It's like a bonsai look. Lovely library. I like how you suck the armory station into the counter here, so it makes it look like it's a workshop corner. Without having to use the entirety of it. Little couples everywhere. Little couples everywhere. Oh yeah, like even just putting the candles out there kind of incorporates it in a bit better. Okay, I'll get there at some point. Oh, I have a little rabbit scene. Oh, a rabbit has some carrots. Oh, well, that's cute. <laughs> it's in a cage. It has its little hut. And then we have bedroom. Is there going to be something hidden behind the vines? There might be a gap there. I can't tell. Another Dark Brotherhood scene. Wait, is there? No. <laughs> now, now I'm wanting there to be more more weird scenes. Oh, can't get through. No. <laughs> Rabbit had been in the fridge, so it made me sad. So I put it in the cage. Aw. You freed it. And then, just let me know if I miss any rooms. Seems like you have most everything blocked off here. No, no, I didn't really go up or to the side. Wow, I totally missed a lot. I missed an awful lot. Oh yeah, we have a, a we have a washer and dryer for our laundry and a folding table. If 
Fun, fun, fun. I say it's I don't know what a folding table is. Um, I've heard of some things like that. Yeah, washer and dryer there is awesome. More modern feel to it. And we have a sink. Awesome. And more of a bath area. Oh, we have, ooh, we have a fancy toilet. I like the idea of putting the little mat down on the ground there. It's more of like a, for a table normally, but you know, it makes it so you have something nice and warm to stand on. We have a toilet paper holder, and we have something special for J Hart in the bathroom. Let's find out what that might be. Extra toilet paper, perfect. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Oh, I can't close it now. Oh, wait. Maybe one's extra strong and one's extra soft. Which one? Which one's for me in the box? Clavicus file, TP holder. Yeah, I've. It's been the thing. Uh, the statues tend to be pretty kind of cool for these. Oh, oh, oh! Need to give the smoker some privacy. Gosh, I wish he knows how to use the toilet. Um. Gosh. I have. Oh, I have a bubble bath. Bubble bath. We got some soap here. It actually works really well. We got our bubble bath. It looks like we poured the whole thing a bubble bath in here. Way too many bubbles. Perfect. And then... We have a changing area. Extra soap. Extra towels, and we have... Ooh, like a little sauna. Cool. Nice and warm in here. Toasty. And I think... Oh, there was something up above, too. Place to put your socks. And we have up above... Loungy areas. Now we did have a lot of Elfika in the previous one. We did we did see the smuggler going about, so might be for might be for them. Oh, Arox gets a, a little festive nook here. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a whole shivering cheese, right? Don't forget the garden too. Oh, yep, yep. Oh yeah, all the all the kajit here. Oh yeah, beautiful view of the aquarium from up here. Amazing, amazing. Let me get to the garden. Out this way. Same same deals. They just use a moon grave fang wing. And Tasty Face, good to see ya. Oh, same deal. They're using the stairway to go up. A little different. A little brighter. It's now daytime. So we can't directly compare them, but this is probably okay. Getting up to another tall garden. Very serene feel to it. A lot of people here. Or that's actually a house guest, isn't it? That's, I think that's Mike. And again, beautiful view of the waterfall from up here. And then you can also put furnishings outside of the boundaries, so you can put the tidal canoe out there. Just a very calm feel to this. It's amazing. I love it. With the amazing view. I nearly feel like I shouldn't, but it seems like a great place to come and relax. Soak here. They do have the clothes hanging up, so it seems like you can go and do this. The rooftop garden. So again, making great use of the view. So, similar thing. So, like, they both had the kitchens, they both had the bedrooms, they both had 
Jester's Cup for surprises. They both have the, the garden here. And that's awesome. I do have two more houses to get to, and I have not a lot of time to do it, so I have to keep moving along. Um, thank you, Selwyn. Thank you, Thendryan. Amazing, amazing. And I am happy to continue along. To Azalea Stone. Azalea Stone has two homes. They're kind of tied together. These are going to be... Fun? Silly? I don't know. They've done kind of both. Thank you for your visit. Thank you. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate your builds. Okay, Sweetwater Cascades from Azalea Stone. They have a two-part home series. They have a little a little write-up. They say... Now, Azalea Stone has previously done a lot of Shroom People builds. Just roll with it if you haven't seen them before. The little Mushroom Peoples. Maybe we'll see some here soon. We have a path. They say, Beware, little shroom. Down this path lies your doom. You'll be caught by stone teeth and caged in iron. Your past will forever behind you, and your future shall be no more. Oh no, oh no. They're gonna be caged up. Okay, so we have we have the lovely lovely mushroom look to this place. A path, that's a path, a windy path, immersive path. We have only one way to go, and that is forward. Get our feet wet here. Sulfur pools are a great way of getting some water into your home. Okay. I if this would be a little... Probably more intimidating at night. Like you hear the birds chirping in the morning here. <laughs> it's like, well... A little, it's a little happy, a little peppy. No, it's it's doom. Doom lies ahead. The azure blight, all the glowy plants and everything. It's pretty deep in here, deep into the cave. Oh, where are we going? Follow the guar. The guar knows. The burning head. They know the way. Maybe they know the way. Oh, I've come to something. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall at some point. What is this purple goopy thing? Mmm. It is an art. It is glowy. It looks like an alien thingy. What is it? What is it? Rip. <laughs> at least I'm not in Slaughterfish. Had to get a closer look at them aliens. Um. Okay, what is this building then? Oh, fun, fun, fun. The lunar reflector up there. This house is uh, Sweetwater Cascades, by the way, so it does have some water in it, or quite a lot of water. They've changed it up. They even added like little fishes and stuff here. Like they, they didn't have to add these little fishes, but they did. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. Making it more believable here. Fish swimming up everywhere. Okay, going in to maybe a little respite here. Dry off, get the water out of your shoes. Oh, I have multiple views. Oh, there's like a little campsite over there. Cool. Can I go this way at all? Oh, it seems like danger lurks that way. There's lizards and scary beasts out that way. Maybe I can go that way later. For now, oh, how bright is this? Debella. Just using the top part. Beautiful, beautiful. So vibrant. Using a lot of those Alinor trellises. Hawkmoth cabbages, some of the new red plants from the Fargrave Pumpkins Fender. A little bit of motion here and there with those snake vines or the butterflies. Those might be moths. <laughs> uh, don't know my butterflies from my moths in the SO. Can't tell how fuzzy they are. No. This is great. I'm just kind of enjoying it. Very peaceful feel. So 
take a little bit of... We have a couple of butterfly bushes in there too, so those will throw out butterflies every now and then too. And with the reflections happening and everything, just a bit of motion to everything definitely makes it feel more alive. A beautiful feel, but it looks like this is not the end of the journey. I can't progress more into here. So I have to go the scary way. A scary path lies ahead. Oh yeah, this is not quite as beautiful. <laughs> it is very well done, though. Cannot it cannot be in Debella's presence forever, I suppose. Oh, it's all cold and icky this way. There's ruins of things. Everything's all drippy and algae covered and. Signs of old civilizations here. Oh, I see. That's going to be... Oh. Oh, no. The shroom person. They got trapped. <laughs> shroom person's in trouble. Oh, no. Shroom people being carted off. Oh, no. Carted off to where, though? We'll find out with the next one. Wait, wait, wait. What's this way? Something secret? Aha! Things that have washed up here. Some treasures. Some sarcophagi. Ah, maybe don't open those. Serene. <laughs> yeah, serene feel to it. And then we will go into... Oh, this is a cool way of doing this. I'm going to be a little late to the luxury party. That's okay. You have to vote everything with hot mouth cabbages. That's a good way to do it. Oh, I love the colors on this. So it's using the big Mehrin's Dagon finishing for this. For the spinny circle. And then using like the antler corals down below, some of the Somerset finishing, some of the Tenmar plants from elsewhere. Great, great, great. I love, yeah, the colors on this are great. Kind of taking the swirl patterns and pulling out the reds and the oranges and then kind of matching these very well peach blossoms too. And now this is going to be a portal using the essential housing tools add-on to get to the next house. So the shrooms were warned that doom was down that path, but they they found some doom. We'll see what happens in this next house then. Okay, a continuation. We go from Sweetwater to Doomchar. They say, Brethren, we are coming. War is here. We shall free you from the hands of your tormentors. No longer shall another shroom languish in iron. And we gotta free the shrooms. Free the shrooms. Mm, a couple of visual effects. That's okay. Um, so we're now in Doomchar. Poke around here a bit. Bit more of an ominous musical feel to this. Okay, how can we free the shrooms? Your eyes love the spinny, glowy, stabby fires. <laughs> oh, we have some visual effects text. What's all the fuss? They're just shrooms. Now, where was I? Uh, yes, I need to extrapolate more essence. Oh, no. We're doing terrible experiments on the shroom peoples. So we've gone to this terrible, terrible place. Creative uses of... There's like an alchemy station that they sent down into the tabletop there. Get some creative bowls going on this table. Yeah, so this has all been built up from scratch too. So all the walls here with the different little sigils embedded and everything. A little, thank you, thank you. A little different. Swan Song. Hey, thank you, thank you. 39 months of Moo goodness. Super appreciate yes, Swan Song. 39 months. It's been a journey. Yeah, continuing to discover more and more things. Oh, I love, I love that. Like, oh, we have a custom chandelier up there too. Oh, that's super cool. How awesome is that? Using a lot of those vampiric furnishings? The 
catch the light a little bit. It's nice. Okay, more experimentation on shroom peoples. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go see. We haven't discovered them. We gotta free them. Free them from their terrible fate. The preparer says, The next subject shall be ready shortly. Try not to fry this one. Why is it so noisy? Oh no. Oh no, stop chopping up the shroom peoples. Oh no. Oh no, the shroom peoples. Oh, that one's, that one's scared. I think they're both scared. We've come to save you. What's <laughs> like the remains of the shroom people? Oh no! Oh oh, it's very grisly. They're getting tenderized there. Oh, that's kind of gruesome. And they're just shroom people. <laughs> oh no! Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not all shroom people. No. They're, yep, they're getting all minced up. Poor shrooms. We'll save you. We'll save you. We'll save what we can. The fried shrooms. Mm. I've done I've done some fried shrooms. They're they're good. It's easy to let them soak up too much oil, though. That's definitely what I've noticed. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um. Okay, continuing up. Fry the shroom eaters. Fry. Oh no. Stop frying the shrooms! Oh no, the shrimp peoples have been added! That's so many- free, free them! We gotta free them. Some luck. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, with follow. Yeah, you're always welcome to send me a mail in-game on PCNA or PCEU if you'd like me to include you in your- in the tour list. Um... Uh, I do a vaudeville tour every other week between NA and EU, so check the schedule out. Shroom invasion! The shroom invasion! It's on the alarm! I told you so! Oh, the shrooms are invading! They're fighting back! Wait, wait, wait. So, wait. Aerox. Aerox must be the leader of the anti-shrooms. Destroy, destroy. That must be Aerox the king. I want those shrooms destroyed! Collect all survivors for the experiments! Aerox has quite a throne here. Can I sit on the throne? Can I usurp your throne? I don't think I can. I want to sit. I can't sit, though. That's okay. Yorx has quite a wriggly, wriggly throne full of corpses and... Wait, 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 where, where are the shrimp people? They're, oh, I see, over this way, over this way. They're frying up the shrooms. Hmm. Wahaha! Take that, you spore-infested fungi! Who wants some deep-fried shroom? Maybe some shroom soup? Wahahaha! <laughs> Apparently, Laurent is evil and destroyer of shroom here. Okay, so we have some shock cannons. We're firing at the shrooms. The shroom peoples, they've mounted a defense. They have their flying platforms. They're fighting back. They're fighting back here. They're trying. Oh, they're getting... That one... That one... That one's getting fried. Fried by dragon fire there. Whole thing's falling. Gonna fall into the lava. Oh no! Those shrooms are doomed. Doomed for the shrooms. But these ones, they're gonna take the shock cannons, but can they survive? Maybe. This is gonna be the, like the last the last one. Maybe they can fight back. Free free their fellow shroom peoples. Pew pew. Yeah, pew pew. Feel quite bad for the shroom people. I know! They're just having a peaceful life. They get shroom napped. Terrible experiments. Okay, I think that will. I think that will do it for the tour then. So we'll help Laurent shoot down the rest of these shrooms, and then we'll go from there. Oh right, no, let's look at the controls here. Um, yeah, we have like little levers, pull that, you know, re-aim position, and. Good time to wrap up then. Okay, and then we'll get a luxury vendor for Twitch chat. Okay, so just to wrap up, thank you everybody that's been here. If you watched on the YouTube VOD, if you could subscribe, that's amazing. And we'll continue to upload fun things here on the channel. And if you're here in Twitch chat, thank you again. And we 
toward seven houses today. Fun stuff, all sorts of different things. We started with Bees Knees is a Maya Lake Lodge with the Nature Cave. We went to Tulian's Captain Margot's with the Tamriel Post. That was really fun for me, especially. Um, we went to Airy Summer's Enchanted Snow Globe with the beautiful Golden Train. We went to the Dryans Hall of the New Champion with the Altmer Mage Home and Selowin's Champion's Hideaway and Disciples of the Golden Cow. Super fun to see that. Thank you again, everybody. And it's Aoi Stone's Shroom Path and Shroom War here. Way too fun. So, so much you can do with housing. You know, with the editor, you can get really creative with how you position things, create new things from scratch. You know, paint a scene here, tell a story, and have a lot of fun with it. And, you know, these sorts of things wouldn't have been possible without the new houses or new furnishings, so they continue to add a lot of fun things. So, housing keeps changing, and more and more you can do with it, and, you know, you can, you know, have some friends in housing and share ideas, and that's all good. And again, I'll get pictures of these up on my website, and so that's another good way to get ideas, too. So, have fun with housing, have fun with ESO, and stay spicy. Boo.